I'm here with Coach Juan West. Coach, gotta ask you this. November 24th, Macau, China, Brandon Rios, Manny Pacquiao, what can we expect? Uh, you know what, I think that was a, a smart decision by Freddie Roach to choose Brandon Rios because Brandon Rios is a coming forward type of fighter, you know, and Brandon Rios is really going to have to up his defense because Manny Pacquiao, he punches pretty damn hard. So uh, maybe we'll see what the best of Brandon Rios is in boxing because to me that's what he's going to need to do to beat Manny Pacquiao. Now we're all going to see what happened to Manny Pacquiao after his devastating loss to uh, Juan Manny Marquez. Can he come back from that? You know what? Some fighters can't. Some fighters can't. That's, that's why this is a test fight for him. You're going you're to be able to see if, he's, if you touch him, you know, because sometimes when you get hit in that chin, you can barely tap it and it'll go down, you know. So that's, that's what's going to be found out is how, how, how hard he can take a punch. How, what, how one person punch that fought Manny got the victory, Tim Bradley. He just fought Provodnikov, close fight, won. Now he's going to fight Juan Manuel Marquez. What do you think about that? Ooh, that's a real good fight right there. Who wins? That's a tough fight. You know, it all depends on if Juan Manuel Marquez get old overnight. You know, he's up there in age. Timothy, he's got a lot of energy, a lot of punches, you know, and people don't realize that kind of evens it up a little bit. That's a very close matchup right there between the two. And I can see why that matchup is, is made. You know, everybody want to test how tough Timothy Bradley is after he had, had he struggled with the Russian. So, you know, I, I think it's going to be a real, uh, it's going to be a great fight. You know, but Timmy got a lot of heart. He got a lot of heart and a lot of speed, a lot of hand speed, but I can't call that. It's 50-50. We just saw Mayweather dominate against Robert Guerrero. Tremendous show of boxing. Who do you want to see Mayweather fight next? Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, I'll tell you who I don't want to see him fight. I don't want him to make that decision to fight Carnelo. That's a, that's a pretty strong, hitting, nice boxer right there. Canelo now, Alvarez? Yeah. You know, I think he's about three fights away from a Carnelo fight, you know, to, to be honest. I, you know, I like, I like his strategy. You know, I, I want him to go for those records. You know, uh, uh, Rocky Marciano, uh, Kawasaki. 49-0, 47-0. I, you know, I, I want him to go ahead and keep fighting smart like he was doing in that fight. That was beautiful. I, I loved it. Excellent performance. The best performance of a boxer. And that's what I try to teach. Boxer punching, boxer wins. Okay? That's, and be, that's before I forget, your friend, Sugar Shane Mosley, who you know very, very well. Yeah. Just had a big victory in Mexico. Oh, yeah. And, you know, uh... I looked up the uh, statistics, and uh, I know Canelo had a close fight with uh, uh, what, Austin Trout. Well, well, Austin Trout, and then he fought uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh man, I forgot this one. He had a big tough fight with Canelo. Mosley fought Canelo. Yeah, and then Mosley fought no, uh, Canelo. Just fought uh, uh, Trout. Morales. No, no, that's Canu. Yeah, Canu. Canu. Right, Kano, who just fought Mosley, right. just fought Morales, and he fought Malanaji in New York. Right, right, right. Yeah, but you know, I kind of thought Mosley could win it if he came in there and he with, did? A, as a Mosley. You know, and then, you know, he came with the whole family backing him up. So people don't understand when you got that family behind you like that, you know, it, it's on. You know, I knew it was going to be on. So, you know, and, and that's great because last time I talked to Shane, he said, man, I got, I got some more in the tank. And he proved it. You know, he proved it. You know, I was like, wow, man, you know, I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at your age, man. You know, I'm just a couple years older than you. I'm like, man, I don't know how you can do it. You know, it's like, ugh. What would you say about Hopkins at 48 doing it? I don't know how he doing it at all, either. You know, he's a couple, he's a couple years older than me, man. I got to get up in the morning and walk around just to get loosened up and stuff. And it's like, he's doing it? That's crazy. There you have it. Juan West, look out for him doing big things for you. It's newsreporting.com. I'm Mike Sikbacker reporting.